source, Pro Capital Group. Dear shareholder of his Pro Capital Group, we announce that the management board is calling for the annual general meeting of his Pro Capital Group, registration code 102-78802, located at Sojukuli. 11 tall in Republic of Estonia, herein after the company, shareholders which shall take place on the 26th of June, 2018 at 13.00 at the premises of the company, Sojakuli 11 tall in Republic of Estonia. Registration of the shareholders for the meeting shall start on the 26th of June, 2018 at 12.45 and shall end at 13.00 at the location of the meeting, the reason for calling. The annual general meeting is to decide on approval of the annual report for the financial year of 2017, deciding on covering the loss, election and remuneration of the auditor. The proposal to call the annual general meeting of shareholders was made by the management board of the company. The agenda of the meeting is as follows. 1. Election of the chairman and secretary of the annual general meeting of shareholders. The management board's proposal. Elect Ilona Nermela as the chairman of the annual general meeting of the shareholders. Elect the secretary of the meeting as per suggestions made at the meeting. 2. Approval of the audited annual report of the company for the financial year of 2017. The company has prepared the annual report for the financial year of 2017. The report has been audited and the audited report has been made available to the shareholders. It is the competency of the shareholders to approve the annual report, the Council's and Management Board's proposal on draft of the resolution. Approve the audited annual report of the company for the financial year of 2017.3, resolution of covering the loss the company's net loss for the financial year which ended the 31st of December 2017 was in the amount of 419,000 euros. As per the commercial code it is the shareholder's competency to decide on the allocation of the profit and or loss, the Council's and Management Board's proposal on draft of the resolution. Cover the net loss for the financial year which ended the 31st of December 2017 in the amount of €419,000 with retained earnings of previous periods. 4. Discussion regarding payment of dividend The management board and the council of the company have evaluated the financial prognosis and investment needs of the company and have reached the following conclusion. Considering that the company has paid out dividends in January 2018 and considering that at the moment the company is putting its stronger effort to finish construction of T1 Mall of Tallinn, which is the company's largest single object development and so the company's capital need is at its highest sensitivity. The company expects to have more accurate and ultimate view of cash flow for distribution of dividends in Q4 2018 after finishing the construction of T1. Council and Management Board therefore suggest that it would be wise to postpone the dividend payment decision towards the end of the year, the Council's and Management Board's proposal on draft of the resolution. Not to distribute profit to the shareholders at this point in time when the company's capital need is at its highest sensitivity and the Council will reconsider the capacity of the company to pay dividend after the opening of the T1 Mall of Tallinn in Q4 2018 when the company will have a better view how much dividend it can pay out. 5. Election of the Auditor in Financial Year of 2017 as Deloitte Audit East has provided audit services to the company in relation to the audit of the annual report. In the opinion of the Council the auditor has performed the services in accordance with the agreement and the Council does not have any objections as to the service provided. The auditor has confirmed as required by the corporate governance recommendations that it has no work, economic or other relations that would threaten its independence while rendering auditing service. In 2016, the management board of the company took offers for the audit from different audit companies for audit of next three years. 
The recommendation of the Audit Committee and the Council is to continue the collaboration with as Deloitte Audit East as their price offer and quality of work is considered to be in the best proportion. The Council's and Management Board's proposal and draft of the resolution, elect as Deloitte Audit East as the auditor of the company for the financial year of 2018, to approve the principles for remuneration of the auditor as per the agreement to be signed with the auditor. Approve the fee payable to the auditor for the audit of company and its subsidiaries for the financial year of 2018 in the amount of €45,700, net of that, according to the Commercial Code Section 297 Section 5 the set of shareholders entitled to take part in the annual general meeting of shareholders shall be determined as at seven days before holding the general meeting as at the end of the working day of the settlement system of the registrar of the Estonian Register of Securities or another depository where the shares of a public limited company are entered, which precedes the general meeting, i.e. On the 19th of June 2018 at end of the working day, a shareholder has the right to receive information on the activities of the public limited company from the management board at the general meeting. The management board may refuse to give information if there is a basis to presume that this may cause significant damage to the interests of the public limited company. If the management board refuses to give information, the shareholder may demand that the general meeting decide on the legality of the shareholder's requester to file, within two weeks after the general meeting, a petition to a court by way of proceedings on petition in order to obligate the management board to give information, share. On the 6th of November 2018 at the latest and they may also submit to the company a draft resolution for each item on the agenda at least three days before the meeting, i.e. On the 23rd of June 2018 at the very latest. The draft resolution should be submitted in writing to as Pro Capital Group, Sojakuli 11, Tallinn, 11316, at the meeting, items previously not on the agenda may be taken onto the agenda if at least nine-tenths of participating shareholders approve and their shares represent at least two-thirds of the share capital. A general meeting may decide on calling the next meeting and settle submissions concerning administrative issues related to the agenda or to the procedure for holding the meeting without such matters having to be included on the agenda beforehand, and to discuss other matters without making resolutions, the shareholder can until the 25th of June 2018 at 1600 inform the company of appointing a representative or of renouncing the power of attorney of the representative by sending the digitally signed notice to ProCapital at ProCapital.e or by sending the written notice to the office of the company at Sojakuli 11 Tallinn. If you have any questions in regards to the annual general meeting of shareholders, please contact us by phone 372-6144-920 or by email at ProCapital at ProCapital.e. Questions and answers related to the agenda of the shareholders meeting shall be published on the website of the company www.procapital.com under the section Company, Investor. The shareholders of the company can acquaint themselves with the drafts of the resolutions and proposals, the audited annual report of 2017 financial business days from 9 o'clock until 1700. Documents needed to participate at the meeting Natural person shareholders are kindly asked to bring along a valid identification document. Representatives are kindly asked to bring along a valid identification document and a valid written power of attorney. In the case of shareholders, for persons representing a legal entity under power of attorney we kindly ask to bring in addition of the referred documents also a valid written power of attorney. Each document issued by a foreign country's official must be either legalized or authenticated with a document certificate apostille and translated into English. Best regards, Management Board of his Pro Capital Group.